Good morning, let's get ready. I'm using lots of new things today. First going in with this Typology Skincare Vitamin C Serum. This is a French brand. If you want to know and learn about really good skincare, the French know what they be talking about. Vitamin C is great for brightening, hyperpigmentation, evening out your skin tone, and a lot of other good stuff. Next, I'm going in with the Typology Moisturizer as well. Really creamy, no scent, which is nice. If you're sensitive to fragrances and stuff in your skincare, I woke up a little dry today. So this is making me feel very soft. Next, I'm going in with the Exa Beauty. This is their hydrating primer, oil-free. It's got like a green tint to it. This is also a clean beauty brand, so we're doing lots of good things for our skin in this routine today. Next, I'm going in with their foundation. I'm wearing the color Rebecca 270, which I was shade matched using their online tech by Hue, which is actually very cool tech if you've never tried it out before. Ooh, this is like very, this is like a very liquidy foundation. Oh, it looks like it's matching really well. And I'm, yeah, I'm just going over my fingers because this feels like a serum, honestly. Ooh, that's really nice. I really like the texture of this. It's got a really nice coverage too. It still looks like skin. It's really nice, look at that. Beautiful. Next, I'm going in with my usual concealer, which is from Kosas. I love this concealer so much. Doing a little bit here. Y'all know the usual spots. Not too much though. Love how this concealer blends out. So easy. Now more new things. I got some new matchsticks from Fenty Beauty. I want to say my bronze contour color is going to be espresso as a contour. Do there. Sponge again. I'm going to blend this out. That sponge isn't doing it for me. I need to use a brush. This is actually from Fenty too. This is their bronzer 190 brush. Because this um, stick is thicker. Yeah, I've been using like a really, really creamy contour stick from Lys, L-Y-S Beauty. Another uh, clean beauty brand. It's black owned also. And their contour brush, or contour stick is so creamy and nice so if you like a really creamy effortless contour that's also a really good one it looks like this comes out like this honestly it kind of is more of like a concealer consistency in my opinion even though it comes in a stick like this it's really really creamy so this is the one that i usually have been like using all the time and this one is in the color no limits courage if you're wondering this no situation gonna be interesting with this brush okay i'm gonna skip that i'm gonna do this for now so i'm gonna use this little brush to blend my nose contour out i'm gonna have to do something about this because this foundation again this and go back over it my whole nose area because this is this is not gonna work do this whole area like this just lightly like a light layer to even it out a little bit because it was a little little too intense okay that fixed it see my nose was doing a little it was a little too i was gonna do some brow gel but i can't find it so in that case i'm just gonna leave my brows like this because they're fine they're good i'm gonna set everything with the lip bar set the tone finishing powder this is in the color sweet as chai I really love this powder, it's so good. Look at that, isn't that so pretty? Like that compared to that, see how we just got rid of that shine? This foundation is so nice because I actually look satin. Like it is a true satin finish, even with the powder. And it feels like I don't have anything on my face, which is ideal. To set my contour, I'm going in with Coco Nati from Fenty Beauty. I'm using their brush, their face brush in 125. This one's a little bit more packed, still angled, 
but more packed than um, the last brush that I used, which is their actual bronzer brush. But I like this one. I like them both, honestly. I kind of use them interchangeably. Okay, so next I'm going to do some cream blush and whatnot going in with one of my faves from Tower 28. This is Beach Please Rush Hour. I'm actually going to use that same brush that I used to bronze. And I'm going to add this in. See, how, like, you can already see the color. I love how pigmented this is. And this color is like, leans towards an orange kind of coral pink. And that's my favorite to go with. So I'm gonna go in as a highlight with Eye Scream 06. This is like a really pretty pearly, light, light pink. So, I mean, we really don't need more here on my, on my cheeks, but I mean, I just love a good highlight dewy vibe. Definitely gonna put it up here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Do a little bit on the nose. Boom. This highlight definitely brought this into like a soft glam look, which I'm not mad at because it looks really pretty. Last but not least, I'm gonna use this Tower 28, like, what is this, jelly? Lip jelly, it's in the shade Almond. It's the Shine On Lip Jelly. And I was just like really into this color today, so. This is actually like a really pretty brown, like step, one step away from nude, but it is giving juicy here for it. As far as my hair, y'all, I just did a blowout by myself yesterday. Y'all, okay, this, this is the third Revlon brush I have bought and used, and it is by far the superior brush for my hair texture, which is naturally curly. I am just obsessed because no flat iron needed. I did it last night, wrapped it. It probably took me a total of maybe an hour, if that, because I did like smaller sections. But this morning, and I just used, I used two products for my like styling. I used this one, Sebastian 9, Potion 9. I've been using this for years. So I mixed this Potion 9 with this uh, Rene Fortier. I don't know how to say this, I'm sorry, it's a French brand. Uh, but it's their Gel Blowout Balm. And I mixed these two together. And then before I wrapped my hair, I did these two together. So I mixed my Olaplex Oil with just a little bit more of this because I like to wrap my hair with like a little bit of cream of some sort to just lay it down even more. Cause when I first blew it out, it was like a little like big, like lots of volume and I wanted it to be a little bit more sleek. So that's what I did. Now, before I go out for the day, I'm going to use this defrizzer spray from Living Proof and I'm gonna show you how I use it. So I just pull my hair out like this and I do little spurts. And this is gonna help just my hair not get too frizzy throughout the day. See, it's got a bit more shine already. And it just went super smooth. Like, versus this side is still, I mean, it's still shiny, but now that my hair is like blonde at the ends, you can see like everything. Versus when your hair is black, and shiny like you can hide a lot of things okay when you've got light tips like my hair which is like a bilage like ombre kind of effect you can see everything so i try to keep my ends especially moisturized all right y'all this is the final look feeling good feeling great ready for my day and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me video and until next time see you later